This session is about using and sharing images. And I just want to go over three key issues. Firstly, try to avoid images that could increase panic and use images that reinforce behaviours that we want to see emulated. Secondly, try to avoid images that rely on stereotypes. And thirdly, stay aware of the ethics of embedding social media posts and images that could significantly impact those involved. So this first one, try to avoid images that could cause panic. I know things right now are really scary, but unfortunately, we're seeing a very small number of images right now being used to uh, illustrate news stories. And we're seeing a lot of hazmat suits. We're seeing a lot of this in hospitals and elsewhere, and it's scary. And yes, these are scary times, but it's hard when you're also seeing this reinforced. The other thing I'd say is that there is evidence from psychological researchers that actually images that show certain types of behavior mean that we're more likely to do it. There is a real challenge here about kind of emulating behavior. So showing lots and lots of images of empty shelves is more likely to make people think, oh my goodness, I need to stockpile because everybody else does. And this was actually a tweet that Rodri Marsden uh, shared over the weekend, basically saying, you know what, we should be posting images of full shelves because actually we want people to realize that there is enough food, they don't need to stockpile. And so that's why images really matter. We're seeing a lot of drone footage right now of kind of well-known cities and towns with empty streets. We actually should be showing more of that that says this is being taken seriously. There aren't cars on the street. There aren't people um, out and about. Trying to show behavior is something that um, I think is really important right now. And this was a tweet that I just saw uh, in the US. There's a shop called Trader Joe's and there these shops are kind of putting six foot markers outside. So people have to stand six feet away from each other. I saw this this morning. I was like, oh my goodness. When I went to the grocery store four days ago, I stood right next to people standing in line. I didn't even think about it. So again, this kind of imagery is really important for showing people what they might want to do. I don't think anyone needs to be reminded of this, but there are still too many images of, uh, unfortunately, Asian people wearing face masks as a way to illustrate almost any story about coronavirus. Uh, I just would ask that people are really thoughtful about this, uh, even if there are stock images of uh, Asian people wearing masks, this is no longer the time to use those images. And finally, try to avoid images taken from social media that can have unintended consequences. So I saw this image posted over the weekend, uh, basically trying to shame people who were uh, walking and standing too close. And whilst, of course, there is an issue right now of trying to tell people not to stand too close, we don't know whether these two people in the foreground with the dog, maybe they live together and they actually are, they've decided they've been self-isolating for 14 days together and they needed to go out and get a walk. The problem with material on the social web is it's very easy to embed, but of course you don't have the context uh, you are using public imagery of people. Um, it might be that somebody starts posting pretty personal stories about their own coro coronavirus story. What are the ethics of that? Have you got permission? Just because you can embed an Instagram post or a tweet, does that mean that you should? By sharing it, what are we doing? How are we taking information that might only be designed for a small number of people, friends and family of somebody's account, and all of a sudden it gets taken and amplified by either a news organ organization with a big following or any one of us who suddenly decides it's okay to share to everybody else. So I would just leave us with that message, which is we have to be very careful about the ways that we're embedding social posts and thinking about images right now.